people down at New Hope New Hope Gospel. Amen. They are worshiping me this morning. Yes. Amen. You know how it makes me feel with my kids when they were little, they should come up and say, Daddy, I love you. You made me should make me feel good. Yes. Amen. It made me feel good when kids they said, I'm so excited this morning. That was after a fit, but <laughs>
His name is Jesus, the Son of the living God. Oh, and he said, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Amen. Let's give our singers a hand. Good job, good Praise the Lord. Amen. You can be seated today in the house of the Lord. I want to say we're so thankful and grateful for everyone that is here today. I'm so glad to uh, to see Sister Edna here in service with us today. Amen. And uh, here in the wheelchair and all. Amen. Just wanted to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And uh, Edna's going to bless us in a little bit, in a little, in a little. We're just going to tag team and bless y'all. Amen. Me and Edna. Praise the Lord. All right, let's see here. But, but before then, why don't uh, Sister Diane come and lead us in our penny march today? Thank you, Sister Mariah. All right, and then uh, we are uh, today is going towards our compassion child, a uh, little Chrissy. Amen. All right. Here you go, Sister Diane. All right. Praise the Lord. So, Diane, I'll let you pray for Pressy today, okay? Thank you, Lord. We just thank you for pressing, God. We can have support, her, God, and help her with all her needs. We just ask you to bless everyone in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This man died of my
church today. All right, praise the Lord. Come on, Sister Edna. Amen. Edna's going to bless us today. Me and Edna both. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, right beside me. Amen. Thank you, Sister Suzette. Amen. Appreciate Sister Suzette going and picking up Sister Edna and helping getting her all loaded up and all. And may your blessings, Suzette. Be there, love you. All right, Edna wrote out a little note she wanted me to read to everybody because she's having some difficulties talking right now. Here's what she says. This is how I feel. A person should go to church as much as they can, while they can, because there will come a time when you can't go anywhere. I love God's house. I love God's house now. And I am missing so much my church and everyone. I hate it. Oh, oh. She loves everybody. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Thank you. We're going to sing Power in the Blood. Brother Joe Kia G. All right. Praise the Lord. All right. There is power. Power. Parking spots first, okay. That way, uh, that way we make sure we got plenty of parking. I, 
the last thing we want is our, our seniors to be having to park down the street walking. All right, so we don't we don't want that. Okay, so remember that. Also, did you notice there's not a lot of trash in the parking lot today? Yeah, praise the Lord. My phone is ringing. It's Rick calling me right now. He was hoping my phone would go off, but I'm in church, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. I love Rick. But uh, all the uh, uh, we I ordered some 16 inch rebar. They look like candy canes, but I ordered these 16 inch sticks off uh, Amazon of rebar. And me and Nathan came out uh, the other day, and we got a sledgehammer. We just put those things between the fence and just hammered them down into the ground, sledgehammered them down. And now the bottom of that fence is very tight and secure. So that's gonna keep a lot of that filth from next door just spilling over uh, into our parking lot. Uh, be praying about uh, that house next door. Uh, it's turned into a uh, little squatter's house, or this is a, a drug house, to be honest with you, what it is. But they've already lit the basement on fire uh, next door. The fire department come out, and, and it says that it's uh, uh, unsafe to occupy, but of course, nobody really cares uh, about that. Um, so uh, we've uh, got a hold of the code enforcement. Will they do anything? I really doubt it. Uh, but, hey, we got to do our part. But the greatest thing that we can do is pray. Amen. Pray, uh, number one, that people will come to Jesus. And if they're not, that they get that house cleaned up next door. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, that's that's kind of one of those things that we're hoping for. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Amen. Also praying for a million dollar gift. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Y'all keep believing for that. Because that's the gift of faith. Amen. Amen. Tell you, we do a lot of things with a million dollars. Amen. It may fill up everybody's car with gas one time. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Half gallon. Yeah, it's crazy how, how expensive it's getting. Uh, so, uh, cell phones, turn them off. No kids walking around during worship or the word, please. Uh, this is Compassion Month. We've got several Compassion children still available. Uh, so, uh, if you'd like to sponsor a child, please see Brother Ray. I uh, have your phone with your hand, Brother Ray. So please see him after service. Uh, he will be more than happy to assist you and help you setting up. It's a wonderful ministry. And uh, as you do it up to them, you're doing it under Christ. So remember that. Uh, remember tonight at 5 o'clock, we're having a prophecy update. This will be the most important prophecy update I have ever given in my life. And I mean that. I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. It will be the most important prophecy update I have ever given. There are things going on as we speak. As we speak regarding the sovereignty of this nation. Regarding the sovereignty of the United States, I'm telling you, things are getting very serious. We're going to talk about that tonight and uh, a few other things. I'll tell you, if you don't know Jesus, what are you waiting on? It is time to make things right with God or you're going to get left behind. Amen. So, uh, so remember tonight, we're going to be having a prophecy update. We've got, I think I'm going to be covering four different topics tonight, but they are all, uh, uh, three of them in particular are major, majorly prophetic, talking about uh, where we are uh, in the end times. And then uh, one of them is uh, very important, but uh, we'll talk about that as well. So remember tonight at five, come hungry to receive from the Lord. Amen. So remember that I can't wait to uh, teach it and preach it. So remember that. Next Sunday night graduation taco party all right that's after the sunday night so we just celebrate with seth and uh, jeffrey and my new best friend Haley. amen yeah. are you best friends still Haley? oh thank you all right so my new best friend sorry dave you got number two now if, if we still had my spaces it would be Haley st Clair number one dave would be number two y'all remember the my yeah. drama back in the day you moved me out of your top ten. <laughs> so remember that we're going to be celebrating our teens and preaching. Uh, I'm going to be preaching in, uh, along the lines of just uh, uh, what to do with the future. And uh, we're going to pray over our seniors, uh, especially and pray over our teens. And I'm going to be proud of these teens. And, uh, so, 
I remember that uh, the seniors are the senior citizens are going to be meeting with Brother Rick and Sister Linda. Is it this Thursday? All right. Uh, this Thursday at four o'clock over at Rick and Linda's house. Rick's birthday is on that Friday, so if you want to bring him a gift. Oh, except Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if you're not a senior and you want to bring a gift, bring it Wednesday night. Yes, yes. Right? Let's so, well, right. bring a dish. We're going to have a potluck style. A bunch of frogs. We're going to have a potluck style. 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 Maybe I'll sneak over to Joe and Linda's house and take your leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we're going to. And if you have a poem you want to read, you want to sing yes. a song, just. Just come, we're going to move her piano into the uh, into our family room where she can have time of worship and prayer and, and eating. So Amen. I'll probably cook some hot dogs or something. Yeah. Go right. try, Tim. That's a home waiting on me. All right. All right. Praise God. Amen. Appreciate Brother Rick and Sister Linda. Amen. Hallelujah. So remember all of those announcements. All right. Uh, at this time, Brother Joe is going to come and bless us in a song. Right. I'm bringing words. I haven't ever sung this song before, but I like this song. I mean, I've sang it to myself quite a bit, but uh, you know, today. Oh, oh, oh. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Good song, Brother John. I like that. All right. Hallelujah. Well, at this time, we'll go ahead and dismiss our kids today. One to six, seven to twelve. Our uh, teachers today. Amen. Uh, the rest of you adults, go find somebody shaking their hand. Let them know you're glad they're in church with you uh, today. And if you need to use the bathroom, now is your time. I know I really got to help you today. Some of my jeans. Some of my jeans. Long time since they are striving.